Hmm. So I originally got the idea from this uh, just by seeing pictures of other people that had done similar things. And when I was building a new computer around the time the 3080 was to come out, I realized I have a project screen that I haven't used for anything. So I decided to print a bezel. I guess design and print a bezel. This is the bezel I designed for that screen so that I could have my own hardware and info display inside of my case. For all of the parts I use, there will be a link in the description if you're interested in doing the project yourself and using the same parts that I used. The next step is printing the file, which I printed using an MK 2.5 from Prusa. Uh, first you slice it in your slicing program, put it on the printer, and then you wait. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to put in some little threaded inserts into the four holes that mount the screen. You can screw straight into the plastic. Uh, I do that quite a bit with these little M3 screws. In this case, I thought I would just use a few of these inserts just, just because I have them and for fun. So... You can just find these little inserts on like Amazon or eBay. They're pretty cheap. And then to insert them, I'm just gonna get one of my screws started a little bit. Set it on the hole. And then take a soldering iron. And push that down into place. And let me show you what that looks like. So there you have it. I now have a little threaded insert in there. So I'm just going to do that four more times. All right, so after you let those cool for a minute, 
we're gonna put that screen in the frame. Uh, there's a couple things you need. I'm using a right angle HDMI pace. Uh, since my case is white, I actually taped off the connectors and uh, painted it white. Then added a little piece of uh, white tape right here because uh, I scraped it when I was test fitting things. Anyway, you could look for a white one, you could just leave it black, whatever you want to do. But you can't put this into the screen once it's mounted. You have to do it before. So I'll mount that. And then the screen uses USB power. Uh, and instead of running a USB cord through my case, I got a right angle USB, so it's lower profile, and this will plug directly into the motherboard header uh, so that you have power coming straight from inside the case. So we'll plug that in there. And then screw our screen to the bezel. And there you have it. Rather than film the whole running the wires through process, uh, I'll just show you this HDMI cable is flat and there's a small gap between the glass in my case So it literally just runs out the back of my case and plugs into my GPU Okay, so I'm gonna power up real quick now And then we'll attach this new display Okay. And get that where we want it. So, as you can see, I've already configured my second display to show the screen readout that some of you have seen. Uh, what you can do is set a second background for your second screen and then it'll display the info better. You can show it uh, however you want really. You can do different graphs, different background colors, different graph colors, and I will show you that here in just a second. Okay, so the final two pieces that you need to set up a screen like this are rain meter, which looks like this, and HW info, which looks like this. The HW info is what reads all of your system specs, the temperatures, amount of memory, uh, anything you want to display system spec wise looks like this. You can tell if it's working because this screen with the sensor status will show you basically the status of all the sensors in your system. Uh, one thing I guess we'll get out of the way real quick. There was a setting, I don't remember the setting, that had to be set before it allowed Rain Meter to use it. I'm going to go to the settings. If you do set it up and you do have trouble, you can compare your settings to mine, and that should make it so you can find whatever setting that was. I think it was in safety. And... I don't remember for sure which setting it was. Anyway, if you're having trouble getting your HW info, your system specs, to display correctly in Rain Meter, 
go through the settings for HW info and make sure they look like this. Anyway, that should be relatively simple. It's mostly just install. Uh, you set it, make sure it's set to start with Windows, otherwise you'll have to start it each time if you want your information to show up. It starts just down in the system tray and it will automatically show your info. Now onto rain meter. This is rain meter. You can actually set up all kinds of different skins. Uh, let me drag some of these up here. These are the skins I'm using. And as you can see, they are just little graphs that you can put anywhere on your screen. There's all kinds of different skins. You can do clocks, you can do bars that move with music, you can do system info, uh, you can do wallpapers, you can set all kinds of different things using rain meter. It just so happens that I'm using it to control the second screen to do a hardware readout or a system spec screen inside of my case. So here's just a little example of some of the different things you can set. You literally can configure and set different skins to whatever you want. So these are the ones I have active right now, these five that I put on that small screen. Now if I click on them, you can see you can hard set coordinates, you can hard set positions, you can set transparency, you can configure the files themselves. I go to edit. You really can customize these things to look and behave however you want them to look and behave. Uh, if there's one you don't like that loads, you can right click on it. You can go to unload skin. If you want one back, you can right click on it, click load skin. So right now I've got my video card, I've got my RAM. Uh, let's bring my CPU back. I closed that on accident. Here's some of the other info for it. Um, you can change the colors on these. So you can have good temperatures, uh, good usage green, you can change it to red, all of that can be customized. So you can match like your theme if you want. You can set it up as a new theme. I mean, you really have a lot of flexibility with this. Then once you're done with that, because that screen inside of your case is really just a second monitor, all you've got to do is drag these down to that monitor and it will always display your system info. There you have it. Uh, once you get those set how you want, they should always pull up and they should automatically go to that position on that second screen inside of your case. And what you're left with is a cool in-case display that really shows anything you want. You could put videos on that screen. You could put read out information that's that's meaningful to you. You could have an FPS counter over on that screen that displays the FPS for your main screen. You know, your imagination really is the limit on this. And if you
you have any questions, if you have any trouble, leave a comment below. If you'd like to see anything else specific, go ahead and let me know. Uh, as always, thanks for watching Nothing Spectacular, and I hope to see you again.